Okay, so let me show you the wrong way to do this question. Some people might just decide to just add them. 50 plus 32, which is equal to 82. Then divide by square root of 2. 82 divided by 2 is 41. So your answer is the square root of 41, right? No, that is completely wrong. So this is how you're actually supposed to approach this. So let's try to simplify the square root of 50 first. So the square root of 50, what are some factors of 50 that are perfect squares? That's the most important part. We have to find factors that are perfect squares. So I know that 50 is equal to 50 times 1. That's also equal to 25 times 2. Oh, look at that. 25 times 2. That's perfect because 25 is a perfect square. So the square root of 50 is equal to 25 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 25 is just equal to 5 root 2. So that fixes that. How about the square root of 32? What are some factors of 32? That's going to be 1 times 32, 2 times 16. Oh, actually, let's stop there because 16 is a perfect square. So that gives us the square root of 16 times the square root of 2. The square root of 16 is just equal to 4 and 4 root 2. So on top, I have fifth square root of 50, which is 5 root 2, plus 4 root 2 divided by root 2 at the bottom. And then that's pretty easy to simplify because 5 plus 4, you can treat square root of 2s as x's. So 5x plus 4x is just equal to 9x. So 5 plus 4 is just 9 root 2. And that's all being divided by root 2. So in this case, I could just divide out the root 2s because if I have 9x divided by x, they would just cancel out, give me 9. So in this case, I could divide the root 2s. That finally leaves me with my answer of 9 for this question. So let's try out another one. Let's just say we have the square root of let's just say 48 plus the square root of 18. How do I simplify this? Look for perfect squares in 48 and 18. What are those going to be? Let's list out some factors of 48. That's going to be 48 is equal to 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 times 16. Oh, perfect. 16 is a perfect square. That's going to be equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. And the square root of 16 is just to get a 4 and then root 3. How about 18? What are some factors of 18? 18 is going to be 1 times 18, 2 times 9. Oh, we can stop there because 9 is a perfect square. That's going to be the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. And then what's that going to give me? That's going to give me square root of 9, which is 3, times root 2, which is 3 root 2. And the thing about this is that when we're adding them, we can't actually add them because root 3 and root 2, that's like adding 4x plus 3y. You can't do that, right? So therefore, this would just be your final answer.